Hi guys, my name is Helena and you're watching Helena's Adventures. Firstly, I want to welcome you to a new little series that I'm going to call Let's Get Appy. Basically what I'm going to be doing is looking at a couple of my favourite apps that not many people know about. I'm going to try and find some ones that aren't so popular but I think you should definitely have. So today I'm going to be talking about a travel app called Lucky Trip which is free to download from the App Store. Unfortunately, it's not available for Android or on web browsers at the moment, but hopefully, as things progress and people start to know about the app more, then they can develop those kinds of things. So once you've downloaded the app, all you have to do is, on the first page that comes up, when you open it, type in your price range. So there's a little slidey bar and it says, um, what's your price range between £150 and £1,000? I think this is a really great idea because if you only have a small budget then they're obviously going to take that into consideration. If you want to be a little bit more specific about what you want, you can type what days you're available rather than picking and selecting days which may be the cheapest. You can say how many people you want to go with you and you can pick five or up to five of your local airports. Um, and I think that's really cool so they're not just going to send you halfway across the country because it's the cheapest place to fly from. So after you've entered any of those things, you press lucky and it starts searching. So once you've done those filters, it will give you three things. It promises to give you a place to go, a place to stay, and something to make you happy or something you want to do when you're there. Um, so the place to go, it calculates the cost of the flight for you. You can have a look at who you're flying with, the times of the day, you can change this, but it gives you the cheap option that will fit in your budget. The locations I've got have been like Croatia, Spain, uh, Poland, I got there. There's so many different options and I think it's great if you want to go somewhere but you don't know where you want to go. So you can just click on the app and it might just give you an idea of somewhere that you can research more and see if you're interested in going there. You can have a look and see actual reviews on TripAdvisor because it doesn't hide anything from you. I've never set my budget above something like £500, which is maybe about $600. Um, so it is very, very reasonable. Um, a lot of them have pools or um, will give you other options. So if you don't like the first hotel that they give you, if you go back to the main page and swipe across, you can see various other hotels that are around the same price. The third thing it gives you is something to do in the local area. So whether that's a free walk around one of the national parks or something that you pay a little bit for to go and have a look at. If you don't want to see something, that's quite historical and you'd rather go clubbing, you can change that in your settings and put that you specifically want to have a night out. If you're a new traveller, I think this is a great thing to have because sometimes people don't know when they want to start planning, where to start planning, uh, they're not quite sure about how to use Skyscanner because it, sometimes it's a little bit intimidating, whereas the design of this app is incredible. It's very sleek, it's very user-friendly, it's great for ideas of where to go and where's cheap and it's a possibility for the future. I think any traveller or any aspiring traveller should get this app. I'll be using it in the future.